uh, even we could see that uh, every petrol station and a lot of public places there are so many police and, and soldiers like like everywhere now only for the problem for our sri lanka and biggest the problem for the petrol and diesel and kerosene oil wow best curry crab I'm in a country today which has been really famous lately, famous for all the commotions and chaos and economic problems that they've been facing for a while. Yes, I am in Sri Lanka. I'm gonna spend one whole day in Sri Lanka today. So I'm gonna walk into the streets of Colombo. I'm gonna show you what's the real situation there. Right now I'm in a resort called Jet UC. And it's a, it's a really nice resort. So far, everything has been really nice here. It's, uh, it's located 20 minutes away from the airport. So right now, we are sitting at our hotel reception, waiting for a taxi. So for us to go to the Colombo main, it's gonna cost us around like $50 from, uh, from our location to go there. We try to negotiate with, uh, with our place. But they say that uh, the prices are so high that there's no way to negotiate. So we have to pay $50 to go and come back. And we have to accept it. And we are going to the Colombo Center now. Hey guys, so we finally got our taxi. And this is Mr. Ajit. And he's the one who's gonna be driving around us in Colombo today. So oh, everything is very good. <laughs> okay. Very quiet. No problem, no picketing and nothing, and much better. Now only for the problem for our Sri Lanka, and biggest the problem for the petrol and diesel and kerosene oil. And second problem for the no chance, only one week, one person to one, find one driver with new 20 liters, not enough for the work. Oh, so, so yeah. only 20 liters of 20 fuel. liters for the one week. One week. One week. Oh, so that's a, not, not enough. That's the situation here for I am all the for the tourism. I am, I am a tourism tourist driver and shop driver. And, but because I want some my uh, people I speak in go to go some anywhere, but I can't do it because on the way I can't feel the petrol. And this is the chance and on the way to feel the petrol now is I am, we are doing much better. Much, much better. But now only a little bit okay for the gas problem, but electric problem also 50% okay, but another problem is the very expensive for the food and everything is very, 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 very expensive. But not salary come up, only price coming up <laughs> because this is the problem, you know. This is. We will see. Yes, new president, we will see what to do. Okay. So uh, he's saying that the situation is not that bad uh, compared to what was in the past and as he said before like 20, 20 liters per week uh, is certainly not enough but he's saying that situation is improving and I was, um, as, as he's driving through the seats I, I actually like find quite a lot of tourists here like I'm, I'm actually find like four or five group of them in just five minutes of uh, going through the streets here. So I feel like the situation is improving in, in Sri Lanka right now. So I'm gonna show you what's happening next. We're gonna go to Colombo Central and I'll show you all of that. Okay, let's go, let's go. Mm. Sorry. But this is uh, this is a small queue. Yeah, it's small queue. Like, like a mini mini queue. Oh Sometimes to the we are last last uh, two weeks before we are waiting for nearly one and a half kilometer two kilometers for the queue. Oh my Better. god! Some people are waiting for the cooking gas and mm -hmm. uh, one week sitting, and more than more than 30, 32 people is dead for the queue. Dead? Yes. Blood pressure coming, heart attack coming. You know, a lot of people are say this is like this. So we are at our first stop for today. We are going to eat in Sri Lanka's famous seafood restaurant called Ministry of Crab. I've been to this place like before COVID. It used to be packed with so much tourists there and they have really nice lobster and crab curry, like Sri Lankan flavors. I loved it. 
So that's where we're going right now. And I'm gonna show you how this restaurant in right now in 2022. So let's go and check out. Hello. Um, table for two, please. Table for two? Yes. Inside or inside? Uh, which is which one inside? Inside is much better yeah. because the warm outside. Amazing. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So we got our table here. The first impression on the restaurant. I've been here a couple of years back. This restaurant was packed with tourists everywhere. I had to wait for 15 minutes for me to get a table. And today the whole restaurant is kinda empty. There's not much people here. I even called them this morning for a reservation. They said like, it's not a problem, just walk in anytime. So I didn't understand that moment. Like now I really do because um, the restaurant is just like, maybe like two to three tables are full and the rest of the tables are kinda empty right now. COVID or no COVID, this restaurant is best, in my opinion, because I feel the same flavors that I tasted like a couple of years back. Even though the restaurant doesn't have much to with our customers right now, but the taste of the food is really amazing. The flavors in the lobster, our crab hasn't come out yet. We're trying uh, the coconut, I mean the whole sambal, the bread and the lobster. It tastes amazing. The flavors are really, really good. Now I'm really excited to taste the crab because um, for me, that's the whole main item of coming to the restaurant. So let's just wait. Um, we kind of got, got dirty. We threw off the cutleries and we are eating with our hands, just like the, the waiter suggested for us. And I guess like that's the easiest way possible for you to eat lobsters and crab to get the flush out. We are so enjoying in this restaurant. best curry crab so if you're walking out of the restaurant tummy full amazing flavors and curry so it cost us around the 150 US dollars for two people I find it like like value for money the, the flavors and the taste that you get was really amazing we totally love the whole experience so probably if you're coming past by Colombo especially this restaurant to visit I'm sure you won't regret it it's it's really nice here all right, off to the next spot now. Probably we're gonna check out a couple of uh, shopping streets in Colombo to check um, how is it right now. So let's go. We were supposed to go to the main shopping street in Colombo to check out how it is. The driver who's driving us telling us that for the past couple of Sundays, most of the things here are closed. Even when we are driving on the streets of Colombo, half of the shops here are kind of closed. He's saying that um, there's a lot of police and uh, military guys posted all over the city to control if, if anything was wrong. Um, so even we could see that uh, every petrol station and a lot of public places, there are so many police and, and soldiers like, like everywhere. So he's saying the main shopping streets, almost half of them are really closed and not much to do there. Um, so our driver has stopped us at a, at a garment shop where we can look into uh, Sri Lankan stuffs to shop. I think that's the best he can do us to us for us today because of the situation that is happening here. And even he was also mentioning that the schools, good schools have been operating just three days per week until now. Possibly from next week they are moving into five days a week, sort of a thing. So I don't think we can go to the shopping streets of Colombo today, check it out. Probably I'll ask him to stop by on the way, but today we are going to this one. Hey guys, we are back to our resort now. 
impressions on Sri Lanka for one day. Um, usually during the weekend, as I heard from the locals, that uh, most of the shops are closed and the traffic is very less. And they, they were saying that most of the people actually like go to the beach and the cost for them to uh, open up the shop and run the business is, is, is very expensive here. So most of the weekends on these months, they actually close the shops. So that's why we couldn't move around most of the places to go for shopping. So uh, as soon as we finished the restaurant, we went to one place for shopping and then we kind of like uh, had to return to the room as we witnessed most of the shops were kind of closed. But things are normal here. When you move around Sri Lanka, you might see a lot of police and military people in most of the public places everywhere. And apart from that, the resorts are pretty cool, chilled up and everything is, is normal here. So uh, I even see a couple of tourists wandering around like as if like tourism is coming back to Sri Lanka again. So that's all my final notes on, on Sri Lanka. I finished my video here. This is Jordan signing off. Please subscribe my channel for more interesting content. See you guys next time.